By the end of the lesson, I will be able to solve one-step equation, equations using multiplication and division. In your notes today, I expect you to draw every example. So the first example is 3 plus p equals 8. You're going to write the equation, and I also would like you to draw that expression mat. Make sure that you draw it large enough so that we can put our tiles in there and show our zero pairs. I am going to use the CPM website to draw on the screen for you. However, you do not have to create these using the CPM website. You just need to write down what you see happening on the screen. So for the first example, we have 3 plus P equals 8. I am now going to try to get X by itself by adding the opposite number of tiles to the three that are on the same side with the X. These are zero pairs, so you're going to put an X through them. I'm also going to add three negative tiles to the other side and put an X through these zero pairs. So after I have put an X through them, I'm going to have P on the left and I'm going to have five positive tiles left on the right. So my answer, my final answer is going to be P equals five. Second example is M plus four equals negative 12. We're going to build it on our expression mat. So your expression mat should read something like this. Remember that we are using the X tile for any variable. So this is M plus four equals negative 12. I'm going to add the opposite tiles to make zero pairs. So the tiles that are on the same side as my variable. And I'm also going to add them to the other side. So I added four negatives here. I'm adding four negatives on the other side. I'm going to put an X through my zero pairs and then I will have my final answer. So my final answer after I've put my X through my zero pairs is M because the variable is the only thing that's left. And then I have a negative 16 tiles on the right. So my final answer is going to be M equals negative 16. Go ahead and copy P minus 6 equals negative 5 down and draw your algebra mat. Your mat should have P minus 6 equals negative 5. On the variable side, I'm going to add the opposite type of tile. so that I'm making zero pairs. And then I'm going to add the same amount to the opposite side. The next step that I'm going to do is draw an X through all of my zero pairs. Notice that this time we had zero pairs on both sides of my expression mat. And sometimes that will happen and sometimes it won't. But we have to cross out all zero pairs on the entire expression mat. So what I'm left with is my variable on the left hand side which is P. And the only thing that's left on the right hand side is a positive 1. So my final answer is going to be P equals a positive 1. The P is the only thing that's not X'd out on this side and the positive one is the only thing that's not X'd out on the right hand side. Last review question is V minus 15 equals negative 27. So I'm going to create V minus 15 equals negative 27 on my expression mat. I also can think about it as V plus a negative 15 on the left. Okay, I have V minus 15 equals negative 27 created. And now I'm going to add the opposite of these. If you are working with this website, I have a pretty slick tool that you can use. So I'm just going to add this first row. Then I'm gonna use my mouse and drag over. I'm gonna hit Command C and Command V and it'll paste. Command V again, it'll paste all of those. 
So I have the opposite of negative 15 is positive 15. On the right-hand side, I'm going to add that same amount. So I'm hitting control V instead of having to drag all of those over and I'm adding the opposite of negative 15 on this side, which is positive 15, to both sides. Now I'm going to go in and X out all my zero pairs and see what I have left over. So on the left, I am left with the variable, which is V, and on the right, if I count them, I have three groups of four, and they are negative. So I have negative 12 left on the left-hand side. So my final answer is V. It's the only thing that doesn't have an X on it. And negative 12 on the right-hand side because those are the only ones that do not have an X on them. The next thing that we're going to do is multiplication of a variable. So when I see a integer or a coefficient, added or multi being multiplied to a variable. So multiplication of a variable, we're going to first create your expression mat. We're going to group based on how many variable tiles you have on your mat. And then we're going to write our answer, which is the variable that we're talking about and the number of unit tiles in one of the groups we created. So the first thing that you're going to do is copy down 10n equals 40 and we're going to create our expression mat. So we're going to have 10 x tiles which are going to represent our n and then we're going to have 40 unit tiles on the right hand side. Alright so I have 10 x tiles on the left. Notice that there are no unit tiles and then I have 40 unit tiles on the right. So this represents 10 x equals 40. What I'm going to do is group them. Notice that I have all of my X tiles lined up near the center line and that's for ease because I'm going to need 10 groups. And what I'm going to do is take each tile and just start divvying, divvying them up. So I'm going to go all the way down and give each one of the X tiles a unit tile. So I'm going to go all the way down and give each one, and I'm going to start at the top, so then I'm going to have each one given one. So I'm going to disperse all of these unit tiles. This is why it's good to use this instead of writing it down first on your piece of paper, because you're going to have to erase now, because you're going to have to create groups. After you've moved all of your unit tiles, you should have 10 groups, because there are 10 X's, and you should have four unit tiles in each group. Your next step is to indicate one group. So you're just going to circle one group. And what we circle is going to be our final answer. So on the left, I circled one in or one X tile. And on the right, I circled four unit tiles. So my final answer is going to be N equals four. Go ahead and write down 21 equals negative 7n, and we're going to create that on our expression mat. All right, so I have 21 equals negative 7x, so I have negative 7x's, and we don't like to have a negative variable. We don't want to have a negative variable, so what we're going to do is multiply both sides by a negative 1, and when we multiply both sides by a negative 1, every sign or every unit tile and every variable tile is going to change to the opposite sign. So if I multiply this negative x by negative 1, it's going to turn positive. I'm going to turn them all positive. And I'm going to turn all of the unit tiles on the left to positive or to negative because I multiplied both sides, the left and the right, by negative 1. The next thing that I'm going to do is start my grouping. So I'm going to start dispersing each one of these to each X tile and I'm going to make seven groups. After I've created my seven groups, I notice that there are three negative ones in each group. Since I noticed that there are negative three in the group, I'm going to say negative three equals N or X because that is what is going on after I circle one of the seven groups. That's my final answer.